Sunday night. I'm Carrie, and that's Jared. What's going on, everybody? <laughs> Sorry for the wait. Last minute prep. It was not a very long wait at all. No. It's a 709. It's yeah. been worse. Eh, it's been worse, but still, <laughs> I don't like to be late at all. But when you're doing a live show and you <laughs> you don't have a staff, sometimes things uh, mm. take a little longer. You wouldn't take advantage of your staff if you had a staff. Nope, I would probably just tell them all to sit down and I'd do everything anyway. <laughs> that's just the way I am. I'm staff. <laughs> <laughs> I'm staff. I make the uh, margaritas. <laughs> you made some damn good margaritas. These are like, what do they call them? Golden? Gold margaritas. Gold yeah. margaritas. Yep. <laughs> Dude, I am not a margarita guy, but these are stupid. So good. Oh my God. I've never had a margarita yeah. that's this good. Thank Seriously, you. like that is, <laughs> wow. It's like candy. Mm -hmm. It's so good. Like, and because we're doing the carnivore thing, I guess it's probably going to go right to our heads. Yeah. But that's why I have lots of water. I don't. I'll be <laughs> chewing on ice cubes. <laughs> so if you see me frantically chewing on ice cubes, it's because I got, I got schnockered and <laughs> didn't see it coming. <laughs> yeah, I've been on a margarita kick for a couple of months. Yeah. Yeah, you discovered those at a Mexican restaurant, right? Yeah, I was at a work <laughs> meeting and one of my, actually the boss, ordered a pitcher of golden margaritas. And I was like, I'm never, I don't know what the difference is. You know, I, I've had the frozen ones yeah. before, like the strawberry or yeah. pineapple or whatever. Um, so I was, I did a new thing. I was like, yeah, let me try it. Oh and God. it was so good. So I had to Google, like, what's the difference between, like, you get the margarita mix, you add the, uh, yeah. what's the alcohol? Um, tequila. 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 Yes. And so this one is, you use the, you use the tequila. Yeah. And then, and we just got the Jose Cuervo, like, mm -hmm. whatever. Yep. Nothing basic special. Stuff. Yeah, basic. Um, and then Grand Marnay. Mm -hmm. So equal parts of those. Yep. And then I, so it was like three lime ounces. Juice. I used three ounces of each of those. I yeah. did two ounces of lime juice and two ounces of simple syrup. Yeah. And wow. shake it all up. And it is, it's I, so good. I'm not kidding you. Like, these are stupid. It's like, <laughs> they, you can have them with breakfast. They're that, <laughs> They're that good, right? It's like I'm getting my lime juice. Yeah. Yeah. These mm -hmm. are good. Yep. So good. Thank you to my tree side family for Hell yeah. making me a margarita holic. Because <laughs> I can't stop now. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> if you can't find Carrie, just look for a happy hour somewhere. <laughs> look at the Mexican restaurant. <laughs> She'll be in there. <laughs> Hogging up the old... Hopefully topside. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hogging up the, the mic from the karaoke and then singing into it and drinking all these. That would be fun. We've never done karaoke. No. I don't sing, so... You do too sing. You have a very unique singing voice. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's better you to... You were made to sing in the 80s. Yeah. <laughs> I can hit high notes. That's about <laughs> it. My tone sucks, though. I have this horrible tone. I don't like my speaking voice at all. Like, every time I watch my videos back when I'm editing, I'm like, oh. You think it sounds. Everybody I do. thinks they sound nasally. Yeah. I, I hate my speaking voice. I, I don't know what I would compare it to, like, what I sound like, but I don't know. I just don't like my sound speaking. Sound like family to me. <laughs> I hate it. Like, it took I me a like while. I like it because it cuts through. I can hear and make out the words that you say. Yeah, it's piercing. <laughs> I don't mean that in a bad way. I know. I know. When I first started this channel and I started editing my videos, yeah. I literally cringed. I'm like, <laughs> that's what I sound like? Because in my, in my head, yeah. I sound... A little deeper. Yeah, a little deeper and, and stuff. So I, I, I even thought about, like, I should augment my voice so <laughs> I could, you know. But, oh, well. It's it too is. late now. Everybody would know. It is what it is. <laughs> They'd be like, hey, I heard you sound a lot worse than that. So, Well, let me say hi. And fan me, please. Fan, oh, fan, yeah, fan. Sure. Uh, ben Burnett is here. Hey, Ben. Hey, Ben. What's happening, man? Martin Hensley is here. What's up, Martin? Braxel. Braxel. What's happening, dude? Paul Bullock. How are you? Hey, Paul. 
Uh, let's see. Braxel says, Jared, I believe you do power washing. I'm shopping for a garden hose to water the lawn and such, and I'm so tired of these hoses not winding up easy and kinks. What do you recommend, Flexilla? Well, those those flex, uh, I forget what they're called, but those those hoses actually work pretty good. The, the bullet ones, they got the new flex bullet or whatever. I actually use those as a secondary hose on my truck because I don't have to wind them up. I, they coil up on their own. I throw them in there. They're definitely not my main hose because they wouldn't last. Um, but I sometimes to share this on Facebook. Oh, yeah. Keep <laughs> but sometimes I get to a job where I need two spigots because I have an eight gallon a minute unit, which would uh, you know just suck a hose flat sometimes. Like it, it literally would flatten a hose because it draws so much water. Um, Thank God for my buffer tank. But uh, so sometimes I got to use two hoses and that's my secondary one. But those those actually work pretty well, you know. But uh, for a main, like if you want a rugged hose, get a Goodyear, man. Those things are, I've had that same Goodyear hose on my truck for, God, 13 years, you know, at least. Mm. And it gets run over by semis and just, you know, dragged all over the place and it works really well. So it just depends on what you need. There you go. All right, so let me go all the way back to, there's a lot of comments. We got to catch them up. Um, did I already say hi to Flux? Hey, Flux. No, what's up, Flux? Uh, Steve-O is with us. Happy Sunday, hey. Steve-O and Anna. How hey. are you? <laughs> what's going on, Steve-O and Anna? I promise that it's just the tequila that we're not doing. That's carnivore. <laughs> everything else is carnivore. <laughs> yeah, everything else is carnivore. But I wasn't expecting a margarita. She walked down with them, and I'm like, well, I ain't saying no to that because she makes the best ones, so <laughs> I'm drinking it. <laughs> yeah. uh, let's see. Braxel, maybe Jared's cooking a steak. No, we did another. We smoked a pork bite. Yeah, and that was... <laughs> it was his best one. Yeah. yeah, there's two. He had a bone-in one a couple weeks ago that was to die for, and yeah. then the one today. Yeah. That's Chili literally lime. what it was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Chili lime is the way to go, man. Oh, yeah. It's the best seasoning, in my opinion. Uh, let's see. Jim Coleman. Hi. Hope hey. all is well. What's up, Jim? Uh, let's see. Tony Krawczyk is here. What's up, Tony? Good day, everyone. I'm Jared and Carrie spending some of my birthday with you guys. Oh, happy oh. birthday, Tony. Happy birthday, Tony. Yeah. Well, yep. Cheers, cheers to, Tony. to Tony. Gosh, another reason to drink. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> mm hmm. Oh my God! So good. So Jim, I think Jim was—he uh, had to drop his daughter off yeah. a couple weeks ago at college. Oh, at college. That was Jim Coleman. I, I think, think so. Yeah. 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 I hope everything's going well for her, and you guys are recovering from saying goodbye to your baby. You're either recovering from saying goodbye, or you're partying. Yeah. Yeah. Out. <laughs> About halfway home, you start thinking of all the things you can do now. <laughs> awesome. They turn into tears of joy. <laughs> yes, got my life back. Uh, Ronnie K is with us. Good evening. What's up, Ronnie? Trying to keep uh, the glare off the guitar. Mark in the mix. He says, driving in from a lengthy weekend of gigs. Three and a half hour drive home. Tired and ready to relax, and I get to listen to you guys. I'm blessed. Oh, oh thanks, Mark. We're blessed to have you, man. Yeah. I hope you have safe travels. Don't be drinking yeah. margaritas on the road. Yeah. We'll drink them for you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll be, I'll have one for you later, too. <laughs> Tyler James is here. Hey, Says, Tyler. Hello, Tone Wars fam. Just made a couple burgers for the wife and I, and she had a cider, and I had Tito's and sparkling ice drink. Nice. Oh, vodka Tito's. in our sparkling water. Dude, why not? Because vodka. Because, yeah, why, yeah. I think vodka is actually, you can drink that on yeah. carnivore, and it's not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad. <laughs> it's not bad. It's not super bad. Because <laughs> tequila is from corn, right? And that's... Yeah. Yeah, and I... Okay, so it was bourbon and tequila because they're distilled. Yeah. And so there shouldn't it. be a reaction. Yeah, so, I mean, yeah, so we'll, we'll find a way to justify it. <laughs> We always do. Thanks for the idea, Tyler. <laughs> because it's Tuesday. <laughs> Tito's and sparkling ice drink. <laughs> Jim Simmons, uh, Jared, are you going to review the new Fender Furfur speaker cab? <laughs> uh, yes, I want to. Um, I know Motor City is going to be getting them in, so if Marty lets me take one home, I'll absolutely do it. 
100%. I want to. <laughs> I'm pleased with the unit. I really am. I think they did a great job with that uh, that unit. I mean, I, I want to. Uh, I want them to send me one so I could do some more videos on it with you guys. Uh, but I have to wait for them to send it to me. <laughs> they're still deliberating, I guess. I last time I talked to them, they're like, "Hey, we're a pretty big company. Wheels turn a little slow around here, but we'll we'll definitely get to you when we can and let you know." But um, it was definitely the request was sent through, so we'll we'll keep an eye on it for you. So I'm hoping to hear from them soon. And by the way, the new Ingle um, special edition is coming my way. They contacted me and said they're going to send it to me. So yeah, hell yeah! <laughs> so keep your eyes open for that. It'll probably be here within the next week or so, maybe two weeks. Last time I talked to uh, to them, uh, he just said I'll, I'll let you know when it's on its way. It should be soon. He was just in Waterford two months ago. That's what he said he was probably hitting up the store. Yeah. That's what he said. He stopped by Motor City. I'm like, next time you're here, dude. Uh, Carrie make, make margaritas. Yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. No, I said next time you're here, let me know and we'll we'll hang. And he said absolutely. So nice. I'd love to love to meet him. Monkey wrench. Hey. Says Jared. Question about the video that Carrie is with the long fingernails. She has her eyeballs scary. <laughs> Yeah, she was mad at me that day. <laughs> Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Yeah. Yep, that's me with the long fingernails. You know, I want to publicly like thank you for mm. for that again. Like seriously, like we we were brainstorming because as we always do with creative ideas, you know, and I'm like, how are we gonna spice up this video and make it kind of spooky and stuff? And we and she literally sent started sending me pictures of her, and she's never done this before. Like with all the scary makeup on and i was like holy crap like i didn't know you could do this she's like i didn't know i could do it either i just figured <laughs> i'd start experimenting and i was like can you and she sent me all these options well do you like this one and she spent a lot of time on each option and that's a that's not a five minute job like you had to wash it all off and start over and then i called her i'm like yeah let's go with this one and this one and then she she showed up with uh you know, with all that on and ready to Outfits, go that yeah. day. and We yeah. originally wanted my daughter, who is amazing at doing, like, contortion moves. Mm -hmm. um, we wanted her to dress up kind of creepy and walk in a back bend and kind of just do some real scary, scary things. But because she was a minor, the company that was filming it wasn't comfortable. Yeah, they were like, you don't want that on there. They're like, I know it's your daughter. It'd be fun and everything, but, you know. So Carrie's like, well, then I'll do it. <laughs> I mean, I can't do back bends and walk upside down on my hands. But... Really? <laughs> so but disappointed in you. Plan B. I'll, I'll do them, I guess. Freak myself out. <laughs> no, she did a good job. And it, it really helped with the video because, like, otherwise it'd just be me standing there going, hey, I can't play guitar. Uh, you know? After, like, 20 seconds, everyone's bored, so. No, stop. <laughs> at least now they have something something better to look something at creepy to look at <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> well you're welcome and it was it was a lot of fun it was it fun was trying a new skill mm -hmm. and yep. figuring it out I could, honestly that's yep. not who i am no at all no it's way outside your <laughs> it was outside my box and it was a lot of fun yeah it was it was a good day and then the day we shot um, City Lights in Detroit, that was, <laughs> oh, it was so There's cold. There's another music video. We did two videos for yeah. the album. Yeah. So we shot both videos in the same day as far as the inside shots go. And then like, I was like but, three weeks later, mm -hmm. a month or so, we went to Detroit and shot the outside shots for that City night. Lights. Yeah, with all the City Lights. 30 mile an hour winds, it was, 20, it was in the 20s that it was night. Very and cold. My hands were so frozen, <laughs> I could barely feel like what I was doing. And the wind's blowing and I was just freezing. And you gotta, hey, I'm having fun. And deep down your inside, you're like, kill me. What was it? So when we got some of the shots back, there, oh. and I was like, no, you gotta use these shots. Yeah. What was it that? I was, you looked mad. I looked uh, well. I was I was like freezing. Yes. So I was just like. Yeah. They kept <laughs> yes, and but to you, the city lights has more of a happy, yeah. lighter feel, and so we were like, find the shots where he's smiling. Yeah. So we were. I was making a point of like smiling and and like, you know, it's all fake because I really <laughs> wanted miserable. to leave. And what really sucked is that one, we didn't catch that one guy that was dancing. Remember. Yeah. We were in this like mall, open mall area, and it was really cool. They had the shooting. string lights 
kind of going back and forth, yeah. and a family had walked through, and yep. one of them stopped and was kind of buggy. In this the kid was like dancing, yeah. like to the music and stuff, because we had it cranked, you know. And he's and I was like, get this kid. Like if I was the photographer, I'd be like, shoot the kid and put that in there. Like it was <laughs> organic, but we didn't catch it. And uh, I wish I wish I would have uh, said, hey, want, you want to do a little yeah. thing, you know, and just come on with me and do it. I thought that would be so cool because it really was organic, but I was so cold and that was the last shot. I was like, I'm Gotta done. I have to and get out of here. <laughs> yeah, and we had to pee. <laughs> <laughs> the realities of life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Martin says uh, he loved your last video. What is Arrow Band Guitars? Oh, thank you. It's a, it's a brand. So, if you Google it, it's basically a guitar that teaches you how to play guitar. And I think it was like a Kickstarter thing. And um, so what happened was they sent the unit out to some YouTubers thinking, hey, we're going to get some positive reviews. And it got destroyed. It got torn apart by guys. No, I'm not saying people were disrespectful, but they were just basically saying, like, here's what the things we don't like about it. And... Henning Pauly was pretty fair about it too. Like he was like, "Well, here's some things he did right, but you know, as he's he's been a guitar, he was a guitar teacher for ten years, so he knows what how to teach guitar." And he was just kind of saying like, "These are the things they need to improve on." So, but they that's basically what it is, and uh, so that's what that video was about. It's like what I understand is if I was a company making a piece of gear. Um, I would be the guy, you know, in the boardroom going, hey, why aren't we reaching out to these YouTubers who we're going to reach out to anyways and have them review it, but why don't we reach out to them? <laughs> why don't we reach out to them and have them, uh, you know, give, give us a, a, you know, like a, a behind the scenes kind of preliminary thing about our, our product. Like, let us know how do, we can make it better before we release it, you know, so... Yeah, I just think that that's something that um, would be really handy. And I know, uh, speaking for myself and many other YouTubers, we'd be happy to do that, you know. And I don't know why people aren't doing that more. So hopefully, not to say I'm a trendsetter, but hopefully <laughs> that video started a little bit of a like, hmm, well, yeah, why don't we do that? It's kind of backwards, isn't it? Steven Koppelkam. Hey, man. Hey, what's up? Everyone can sing, but not necessarily well. <laughs> they can still sing, though. <laughs> I can actually sing pretty well, but my voice sucks. <laughs> so that's the problem. So I just I gave up. Every time he pushes me to sing higher than what I'm comfortable with, he's like, look, I can do it. And then I'm like, all right, you cannot be outdone. Captain Helium and shows like, up. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff Hirschberg says, hey. great time for change video. How dare you interject basic critical thinking skills into something YouTube related? <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Jeff? No, it's true. <laughs> <clears throat> JB, 50 watt, hi. Hey, what's up, man? Haven't seen you in a while. That's what he said. Hey, what's up? Happy Sunday. Have you ever had the chance to try the Bad Cat Hot Cat? I tried it recently, and I actually prefer it to the link. Um, which one does Chris have? I'll have to ask Chris which one he has, because he's got a bad cat. I don't know if it's a hot cat or not, um, but his amp is actually really cool. Big, really big sounding amplifier. Um, it's, it works great, especially for what he does. I like something that's a little more gainy and a little more aggressive, but I do like his amp. I thought it sounded really good. Paul Smith made it. How are you? What's up, Paul? Stephen Koppelkamp says Miles Kennedy is a nasally singer, and I love his voice. Oh, a lot of people like Miles. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he is amazing. Uh, Flux has a long one. He says, I just got a Randall KH-103 Kirk Hammett signature amp. I did Ooh. not get it to sound like Metallica. I got it because you can put any power tubes, tube combos in it, making QC captures of it with 6LGCs now. Once you get the KH-103 dialed in, it sounds amazing. Three channels, three different voicings, going to mix 6L6 and KT-88s next, then KT-77s, 68s, <laughs> and Martin Hensley's favorite KT-66, and combos of all the two. Nice, dude. Congrats. Yeah, when you get those done, send a few over to me if you don't mind. I'll check them out for sure. Gravel rocks. Hey, what's up, Steve? He says November 7th, question mark. Um, yeah, November 7th is, is I election think, day? 
It's the, no. <laughs> it is. It's election day. <laughs> well, it's also, I think it's the day that the PRS uh, MT100 comes out. <laughs> it's either the 7th or the 12th. I can't remember, but it's, it's early in November it's coming. So. Uh, JB50 Watt, how's the custom Kiesel? Are you enjoying it? I'm actually going to get a custom Tom Anderson angle guitar this spring. Oh. Fine. Fiance is getting it for me. Oh, sorry, I was like, <laughs> finance, fiance. <laughs> Had to stop on that one. No, cool, man. Uh, congrats. Um, I love this guitar. I think it's great. I practice with it a lot upstairs with my uh, Spark. I use it a lot up there. I love the neck and I love the fretboard. Get, <laughs> if you're going to get the fret radius, get the, the 20. It's so good. <laughs> I got to jump down to Flux. Flux is well, right? Yes. Yep. <laughs> he says, I love how when you posted the picture of you in the Night Terrors makeup, you explained to your family and friends that you had not joined a Duff cult, but was actually in a scary music video. <laughs> music video. I had to, I swear. People yeah. will be like, what have you there done? she went and she finally went yeah. off the deep Yep. We've been talking about this. <laughs> For years. I know. To promote the album, I just updated my profile picture to me in the makeup from the video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I had she to looks pretty disclaimer. spooky, man. <laughs> yeah. No, I do not worship the devil. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not crazy. Yes. Then I'll find you. <laughs> <laughs> Jim Coleman says, yes, everything is great. Good, man. That's awesome. Martin Hensley, Flux My Satan is loaded. Oh, yeah, they're talking back and forth. Uh, let's see. Jim Coleman, I'm looking forward to hearing you playing the new Ingle since we like the same tones. Oh, cool. Me too, man. I'm looking forward to checking out channel three and four big time on that. I think it's going to be amazing. Yeah. And I'm going to shoot it out with the Savage. Ronnie K says he's jealous. What are you, what you jealous of? Of the margaritas. <laughs> you should be jealous of the margaritas. You should be. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> yeah, it is good. It's so good. It's good. That's just like you like it. Jarrett loves it when he goes through the drive through <laughs> and the lady at the other end is like, <laughs> Have a nice day, baby. Here's your fool, baby. <laughs> <laughs> he gets all gushy and mushy and melty. Gets me every time, man. He does. Oh, there's this one place in Detroit. I was working out there, and <laughs> I got my order, my food, and and she just opens up the door. I pay, and she hands me my food. She's like, "Here's your food, baby." I was like, "Ah, oh. <laughs> can I have a hug?" <laughs> Mommy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it like gets a little tear. It's a little tear. <laughs> that food tasted better than ever that day. <laughs> you fool, baby. <laughs> That's the best. Oh, she totally made my day, man. I love it. That was great. <laughs> <laughs> Tyler James says, so next week, can we expect a Halloween live stream, please? <laughs> Ooh, you should get all dressed up in that stuff. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Would you? Could you? Should you? Oh, boy. Dude, that would be fun. That's a little, I don't think I even have everything. Remember yeah. how the white stuff, like, broke us out a little bit? Oh, yeah. <laughs> a little rashy rash. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe Next I could day. do part of it. Maybe just, like, the teeth, not do a whole white face, but, like, <laughs> the teeth and eyes or something. I don't know. That would be fun, though. Are we going to have a costume party next I week? I don't know. Maybe. Well, what you going to be, baby? <laughs> <laughs> what you going to be, baby? <laughs> I'm going to be a crappy guitar player. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm going to be. You should dress up as like Ozzy or something. <laughs> I've, got the, uh, I've got the round hippie glasses. Oh, you do? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. I'll work on them. Yeah, maybe we'll, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> we shall see. Uh, let's see. Uh Paul Bullock, Jared, thoughts on the OG 5152x12 combo. Picked up one in college in 1996, just retubed it. Sounds much better, but still pretty noisy, even when a gate. Uh, sell and get a 50 watt stealth, question mark? Uh, I, I think that uh, I way, always... We are in college at the same time. <laughs> oh, wow. Where's my pick? I just dropped my pick. I gotta stop dropping my pick tonight. Um, there it is. Um... You yeah, find it? yeah. I had that same exact one. I had the combo, and I liked it. 
And you're right, they're noisy. And uh, I, at the time when they came out, they were, you know, insane. Like there was nothing like it, you know. Um, but amps have changed quite a bit over the years, and they've gotten quieter. You know, they've they've adjusted things with the noise floor and and stuff like that. And um, I just think I think it's the voicing on it is it's a little dated it's not bad but that you can tell it's it's from the 80s or 90s or whatever um but yeah like the the stealth uh 50 watt i think is more modernly voiced and has a really nice i mean the blue channel's great uh the red channel's great so um, but if you really want to upgrade get the stealth 100 because man that amp is unbeatable and you're not just getting the watts you're, you're getting three very independent channels that you can dial in any way you want because the resonance and presence knobs are all assigned to each channel. They have three of those. So, um, and then you got the Easter eggs in the amp. And if you, if you want to know what those are, um, I did a video on it. Just type in Tone Wars <laughs> EVH Stealth Easter eggs. So, yeah, I mean, I, I, if it was up to me choosing between the two, I think uh, all due respect to the OG, I prefer the more modern voiced amps now. Uh, let's see. Kilroy99 says that arrow thing isn't a guitar, it's a toy. Mm hmm It is. It's a toy. And it teaches you how to play what they say is one finger chords. And it's like, no, it's that's, those are notes. <laughs> and it, it's like, once you learn that, you're not learning how to play chords. You're just learning how to fret one note. Um, and that's not teaching you anything, <laughs> you know. And there's just a lot of things that it was just wrong about. And... <laughs> And it didn't work right, and yeah, there was a lot of stuff about it. But uh, I think the concept's cool. They just need to talk to a guitar teacher and, you know, figure out uh, a better way of doing it, you know. Tyler Jane says, I'm not sure if you guys are Avenged Sevenfold fans, but I got the chance to see them live in Dallas last weekend, and they absolutely killed their set. Phenomenal show. Oh, nice. Yeah. Not yeah. super fans. I mean, I like their popular stuff, but... Yeah, I'm, familiar, I'm sort yeah. of familiar with them. I mean, I That'd think... That'd be a great, great live show, for sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I I'm think they're a really good it. band. Yeah. Uh, we got an old friend in here, Greg Blankley. Hey, what's he up, Greg? the Nun 3, The Rise of Carrie. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> that would be funny, the nun three. Take some margaritas yeah. for this one. <laughs> yeah, and, those, and, the, and the more margaritas we have, the crazier the costumes are going to be. <laughs> so stay tuned. <laughs> CS is here. He made it. He said he had to watch my Steelers win. Oh, what's up, man? Good to see you, Chris. Flux says, Jared, I think you're correct. Companies are wasting a great resource. The honest feedback of YouTubers, they need to utilize your excellent experience with gear during final testing. Well, thanks, man. And, and you're right. I mean, they really are. And that's one of the topics of tonight's show is, is, um, is that whole thing. I mean, <clears throat> they really do need to utilize us uh, to get that unfiltered thing. Like when I talk to Fender, uh, I've talked to them twice now um, after I did the, the review of their product. And they were very cool, very open-minded, and very nice guys that I talked to. And um, they asked me, like, what I thought of the product and everything. And I, I just told them, I just said, hey, I think you guys knocked it out of the park in a lot of ways. Like, the interface, the way it's built, the look and feel, the fit and finish, the graphics, um, the I.O., everything is just freaking amazing. Literally the best interface I've ever used. A, a dummy could use this thing. So, and I said, the tones are great. The models are excellent. They really are. Some of the best models I've ever played. But I just said, you know, if I was in your boardroom when you were, when you were you know, developing this product, I would have demanded that you guys made it a profiler. I said, because the thing is, sorry for the okay, burp, that out there. <laughs> <laughs> all that pork butt, you know. <laughs> so but I said, the thing is, is like for the price that you guys are asking for it, you're competing with other units that actually do, you know, do the, the profiling thing. And I said, if people are going to compare, they're going to be like, yeah, but this one profiles at the same price. And, you know, not saying that it's not worth that because it does have other things, you know, the better I.O., the better interface, the better UI, whatever, um, and the, uh, the better graphics. I mean, and it's got, you know, eight uh, cores in it, which is crazy. So 
it has that and he told me he goes well you know it is capable of profiling as far as like it it could do it if we put in the software and i said well then i think you should <laughs> you know but it's that kind of stuff that we can help them with because these companies are literally like they're in their literally. own world literally in their <laughs> own it's the alcohol <laughs> they're, they're in their own little world building their thing and i get it it's when you're that focused on getting a product done that's what you have to do but it's nice to have somebody come in every once in a while and be like why aren't you doing this like <laughs> Never thought of that. Well, I'm out in the real world. You guys are in here. Of course, you didn't think of that. Like, and we talk to you I feel guys. Like we do that to each other too. We do. You do. You yeah. get in your like, your uh, what's the genre called that you like so much? Prog. He gets in his prog metal yeah. mind. And, yeah. And he's like thinks it's amazing, and I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> went a little weird. <laughs> Got a little weird there. Yeah, you gotta. <laughs> Tone it down a little, buddy. <laughs> Bring it back so yeah. I can like it too. <laughs> Not everything has to be in 2783 time, you know. Uh, but it's yeah, good. it really is. It's yeah. good to get people's opinion that are outside of what you're well, doing. Not only outside, but people like us who are that also use it. we yeah. use it, we review it, we shoot it yeah. out, we answer questions to you guys, we read your comments. We're in the Facebook groups. We're doing all that stuff because that's our job. So we can take all that information and walk into a boardroom and just be like, hey, I don't work here. Mm -hmm. I don't, you know, I don't know all of the technical things that you guys know. And I respect you guys for what you know and, and all of the things that you're capable of here. But here's some thoughts that I have about your product based on what the real world wants. And I think if you listen to me and apply at least some of this to your product or at least be open-minded, um, you're going to have a better launch to your product and a lot better sales with it and people are going to love it. So it's like give people what they want. Hollywood, as much as I hate Hollywood, they do that with their movies. They actually have pre -te they have test screenings. Yeah. Um, I don't think they're listening to people these days, but there was a time when they were and they would literally have test screenings and, I, and, and like if people hated the way it ended, they would do reshoots and, and you had to fill out a questionnaire afterwards because it's smart. It's like, this is what they want, you know, and they would give you what you wanted. And it's the same thing with these companies doing this stuff. And so I just think it was, it would behoove companies to listen to us. I'm not saying they have to, for every pedal and every little thing, I'm just talking about major products, like have, have some guys review it and give you their thoughts and it's unfiltered and nobody gets their feelings hurt because it's all private, yeah. you know, Ben stirring the pot, trying to, He's trying to make you fight. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, uh, Ben told Braxel that you use makeup. Is it true? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Why would I use makeup? <laughs> no. When you're this perfect, you don't need any. Yeah, <laughs> I'm all natural, man. I get people handing me my food saying, here's your food, baby. I don't need makeup. <laughs> you don't really need it either. Me? No, you don't need it. Just to make my eyes stand out under the lights. Under the lights, but I've seen you plenty of times without makeup. And oh, thanks. You don't need it. <laughs> uh, let's see. Flex says you should both wear costumes next week. <laughs> There's another vote for costumes. <laughs> That'd be kind of fun, though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We'll see. Yeah? We shall see. All right. Wearing them down, guys. <laughs> Ronnie K says angle laugh out loud. Uh, Jamie 50 Watt, Leo Fender never played guitar, but he would have musicians play the guitars while he was designing them to get their feedback. It makes sense, but now everyone just wants money and to chase trends. Well, it's true. There's a lot of that, and there's a lot of that whole, like, look what so-and-so sent me. I got street cred now. My channel's legit because somebody sent me a box, you know, with something in it. And I get that there has to be a little bit of that with our channels because you have to have some sort of you know some sort of street cred or cool factor or whatever um you got a peacock a little bit which it, it's so cringe to me but anyways you, you have to these days um but uh i i would rather be on the private end it was a, it's more of an honor for somebody to to email me and say hey we're developing this product would you mind if we sent it to you and you give us your unfiltered thoughts Here's an NDA. Obviously, you can't talk about it, but we, we would like to pay you a fee to give us your 
unfiltered thoughts if you want to shoot it out with something that you already have or or just play it and tell us what you think yeah. yeah and it's like yeah i would totally do that for you absolutely you know either way you're getting paid a fee you're getting paid a fee to review it or you, you know on your channel on uh, or you're getting paid a fee to make it better i'd rather get the fee to make it better you know and then when it comes out and i know that a lot of that stuff was implemented then i'm i'm more behind it because i'm i'm kind of on their team and i also would be um transparent and say hey i was a small part of developing this product with this company and i believe in it and here's why here's a great product for you guys and here's what we did and blah 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 i don't have a stake in the game as far as like oh i get a share of the profits no it's nothing like that it's just it feels good to have somebody listen to you and value your opinion before it's launched as opposed to can you just cram this down all your subscribers throats for us please like not if i don't believe in it absolutely not i turn okay. stuff down every week like that because i get uh emails from all these companies that are making these little yeah. whiz bangs and doodads and i'm like whiz bangs they are bangs and doodads yeah and i'm like nah greg nope. blankley says the sheffield speakers and the og 5150 stuff is straight doo doo mm -hmm. <laughs> dog doo doo <laughs> sheffield are the worst speakers out there <laughs> they sound better when they have a hole in them <laughs> it's just those speakers are freaking garbage man paul smith says tequila is made from the mezcal cactus all right yes the cactus. The prickly cactus. Gravel Rocks, MT100, coming soon. It's coming soon, absolutely. Motor City's going to have them, and I'm going to review one. Mm -hmm. I can't wait. Flu Oops, almost almost banned Flux, I'm sorry. My, hey, hey, man, when you touch the screen and all these options come up, and you, you touch the wrong one by accident, whoops. <laughs> Flux, if I accidentally ban you, just send me a message. We'll yeah, fix it. Yeah, <laughs> and we'll fix it. Seriously, I've done that before. That's like, oh my god, well, how do I? Uh, <laughs> and it scrolls by, and you're like, oh <laughs> shit. <laughs> Flux says, I'm sure the Arrow guitar looked great on paper when they thought it up, but it doesn't really emulate guitar playing in no. the real world. No, not at all. Tony Krozik is going to see Tool tomorrow night. Hey. Adam Jones uh, night should be spectacular. Dude, awesome. My That'll be fun. loves Tool. Yeah. Yeah. Martin Hensley says, talking to Flux, uh, Stephen Koppelkam, I'm curious if the MT100 will be available on the announcement date or if there's going to still be a wait. Uh, they'll be available in the beginning of November. Now, now, I don't mean November 1st, but I mean the, the first half of November. But, man, you better pre-order it quick because you know how that goes. They're going to mm -hmm. be gone. Paul Bullock says, appreciate that, and I did see your video on the Easter egg. I'm 100% sold on the 100-watt style. Thanks <clears throat> for all the great content. My pleasure, man. And I'm telling you, I'm telling you, telling you, telling you, if you don't like the EVH 100 watt stealth, then you don't like metal. I mean, that amp is so good. It's so freaking you good. If you like margaritas, then you don't like metal. <laughs> yeah, it really is. If you don't like the stealth, you don't like margaritas. No, it, it's so good. And the thing is, is if you like the classic rock stuff and you want to dabble in that, just crank the gain on the green channel and boost it and you're done. I mean, that amp is... That amp's never going to leave my shelf. I will never sell that amp, ever. It's so good. Uh, Flux says, hit the like, folks. Yes, please. You can X out of the live chat, hit the thumbs up, like button, and or come Or she'll on. ban you. <laughs> come right back in. <laughs> With her tequila thumbs. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Jim Coleman says, in my opinion, the Fender Tone Master is not for metal. Um, it Well, the uh, Stealth... Uh, model in there could definitely do metal <coughs> greg blanky says the uh, i said blanky <laughs> greg blanky <laughs> blanky <laughs> sorry greg <laughs> <laughs> the fender modeler is boomer proof <laughs> boomer proof it kind of is man like seriously if you don't know how to operate that you're like you're crazy but no i i hear you like the Fender Modeler, it, there's a lot of classic rock and cleans and edge of breakup stuff in there, but there's also like the Mark, I think there's a Mark IV in there, Mark V. There's a Friedman HBE. There's the EVH Stealth, and I can't remember. I think there's a, a Dual Rec in there too. And uh, yeah, so it'll, it'll do some metal stuff, um, but 
Uh, thank God Fender owns EVH. That way they can put those that stuff in there too, you know. Steve-O says, Anna thinks you're a sweetheart, Jared, with the makeup comment. <laughs> <laughs> he, he can pull it out sometimes. Yeah. From time to time, he sometimes, can be a sweetheart. Sometimes I could be nice. <laughs> it's the beard of alcohol talking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was really sweet. Uh, let's see. Uh, Greg Blankley, in Fender's defense, they're not necessarily a metal company. No, not necessarily, but um, they're doing a great job with the EVH stuff, that's for sure. Uh, Fluck says, I have to say the last QC update massively improved latency and the overall quality of the captures. I'm recapturing some of my amps due to this improvement. It's so crystal clear in the new editor. Rules. Dude, I love the new editor, and I love doing captures from my desk. Isn't it nice to <laughs> just push the enter button on your desk, and it runs the capture, and then you're typing in the name and picking all the icons, and by the time it's done, you're just ready to just hit save, and you're like, yep, done. This is amazing. Shane Allen says, U of M got a pretty good win list. They did. They stomped on state. Yep, that's what I heard. That's what you heard. That's what I heard. Plug says, for some reason, Tone Junkie implied in a new video that Fender may charge, may charge for future amp models. That would suck. I hope companies don't start doing that. Yeah, that would not be good. I don't think that's a good road to go down. Especially <laughs> after you paid $16.99 for a product, you know. Martin Hensley says that you need to dress like Dio, bro. <laughs> Dio. <laughs> Man, I got that weird cough thing going water? on. Do you want some water? I think it'll be all right. You got um, it? Yeah, I think I got something over here. Flex says, how about Carrie doing kiss makeup on you guys next week? <laughs> or you dress up as a hair metal band. <laughs> nice. Yeah, that would be funny. <laughs> Uh, Greg says, I rhythm, uh, I rhythm player bought uh, MT-15, and I was absolutely shocked on how well that little amp sounds. Yeah. 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 It's a good little amp, man. Really is. It's a good one. <laughs> Let's see. Flex says, Jared, that is an excellent. It is excellent that Engel is sending you the new Founders Edition. I'm so excited to see you deep dive uh, the tube driver section of the amp. You will know how to dial this in. Oh, man, I can't wait. Thank you. Yeah, I really can't wait to test this thing out, man. <laughs> man, they, they liked some of my videos that I did, so they were, like, happy to send me one, so I'm grateful. <laughs> he also said, I'm still here, Carrie. Thanks for not getting me. <laughs> <laughs> she banned you to the sh <laughs> shadow realm. Vince Salutari. Hey, man. Hey, what's up, Vince? He says, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Carrie and Jared and entire chat. I'm late, but made it back in time to catch some of the live show. Awesome, man. Glad to see you here, man. Thank Two you. Two more and then you can play. <laughs> Braxel, Jared, do you think the handles on the side of the EVH Stealth are overkill? The handles on the sides? Oh, you know, I've never noticed they were there. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I've had this thing sitting on my shelf for like years, so yeah, I guess so, because like you just carry well, it from the top. You can carry it from this way, or you can carry it from that way. Well, it's to grab it from the side to put it yeah. up on your... But if you ain't man enough to carry it with one arm, then maybe you should get the mini No, amp. but your hand, <laughs> your hand can't fit up there between the top of the shelf. So no, it is kind of nice true. to have the handles on the side. To that's like, true. Here. Yeah. I think for the most part, they're probably overkill, but they probably thought, like, there's probably that those scenarios where, like, when you want to pick it up and put it on your cab... You know, putting it up there with one arm can be, can be kind of difficult for some mortals, but. <laughs> but not for me. <laughs> That's who you should be next yes, week. I pick it up with my pinky and put you it up there. You should either be Arnold or Skeeter. I vote Skeeter. I oh want my God. Skeeter next week. You want Skeeter next <laughs> week? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I gotta be full skeet the whole time. <laughs> yes. Oh my god. Well, that'll be. <laughs> that'll be interesting. I think so. That's gonna take a lot of whiskey to make <laughs> skeeter happen. Or margarita. Or margarita. Skeeter don't even know what a margarita is. <laughs> I think I know. dated a girl named Margarita <laughs> in school. I don't know. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Barry Gomez is listening at work. Rock on. Oh, I'm telling your boss. <laughs> What's going on, man? Thanks for tuning in, Gary. 
Barry, not Gary, but Gary too. <laughs> if there's a Gary. Shane Allen says, I picked up one of those EVH stripes. You need to try the pickup, and those feel so great. Oh, really? I've never played one of those. I should try them. Absolutely. Flux wants the tone snob next week. <laughs> the tone snob. Hair. It's not as much fun, though. He can be a bit of a bull. Yes. <laughs> Skeeters. Skeeter can be fun. It's fun. <laughs> Oh, let's see. Oh, Christopher. Hey, man. How hey. are you? What's up, Christopher? He says, oh, my God. Made some pork steaks with Guga's, G-U-G-A, Guga's rub. And I'm ashamed to say they came out better than my rubs. Oh, man. What is Guga's rub? I don't know. We're going to have to look into that. We have to Google that, that one. Guga. G -G Guga, Google. Or Google, Guga. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Mm. Greg says, I'm still rocking my 50 watt uh, 606 EVH 2x12 combo. Yep. I'll never get rid of it. A lot of forums say the combo has the tightest gain of the 606 due to how it's designed. <coughs> you should review it sometime. It's a nasty little amp, man. I've heard it. It's good. <clears throat> Flux, I agree. Let's hear the keys, little bad cat. All right. Let's do it. And there's two <coughs> votes for Skeeter from Tony. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see what we can do. Well, that makes it easy. All I need is a lawn chair and a shirt. Your fishing hat. And my fishing hat and some Crocs. <laughs> All right, one second, guys.
Okie dokie. Why? There we go. Why can't you say it out loud? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. So this isn't your one of it's your favorite not amps? Not my favorite amp. No. Not your favorite? It's kind of... I like it. <laughs> I like it. I think it sounds good. Where'd you get it again? I uh, got it from Bad Cat. Oh, they sent it to you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> no, I like it. I think it sounds good. Really? Yeah, I really do. It's got a really thick, nasty tone to it. And uh, <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Maybe it's the guitar. These guitars are a bit bright. So sometimes... I'm not getting bright from it. No? Now I'm getting, like, it kind of just blends for me. It's not mm. standing out. Mm. It's not, it's not catching my attention. Well, we all have different ear palettes. But, I'm, uh. I'm super picky. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. I think it's a pretty cool amp, man. Rexel says, I wonder why the stream keeps dropping in and out. Is it me? Um, I haven't noticed it. Is I, it doing it again? We got the green light. So yeah. as long as we have a green light on my end, it's good over here. Yep. So Check your pulse, man. Check your pulse. <laughs> yeah, check your uh, Wi-Fi. I don't know. Yeah, so far it's been green here. I keep looking down at it, too, to make sure. But uh, Let's see. Braxel says, we stopped Jared from playing for a whole hour. We did. It's 8 o'clock. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I know. Wow. Uh, Jay McD says, Hey. Hey, Jay McD, have you ever tried uh, Overloud THU? It's the only amp simulator, which includes the modeling, capturing, and IR processing features in a single plugin. I would like to hear your opinion on its tone. I haven't. I've heard, man, that does sound familiar. I think I saw that in a comment on the channel uh, the other day, and I was like, Overloud, what's that? You know. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I haven't played it. But I'd like to. In fact, I'll be doing something for Auto Audio soon as well. Auto Audio. Auto Audio. Yeah, he sent me his uh, plug-in, and he wants me to try it out. So I'll be doing that soon as well. I got tied up with work, so. Well, you're just getting all kinds of stuff. People all are kinds of out. stuff. So, you yeah. used to tell me this last, hey, guess who reached out to me? Now it's <laughs> just all hat. Yeah, well, you know. <laughs> Sometimes you just got to keep the cards close to the vest. <laughs> No, I've just been busy, so, you know. Greg Blanky says, what's the lowest you tune to? Um, drop A, I believe. Drop A. Um, or drop G. Save the Canadian beavers with us. Drop G. Happy Sunday. Hey, we what's going on, too. man? <laughs> Good to see you, man. Greg says, the keyboard in this song always brings back rain vibes. Yeah. It, yep. It's it an does. old rain song, it man. Is. Yep. <laughs> rain... Our EIGN uh, was the first version of our band. Yep. Yep. Good times. Shane Allen, Joe Biden saw a skier once and thought his legs were too hairy and flew away. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going there? What are you doing? <laughs> Braxel says, I wonder why the stream came. Oh, I already read that. Gary Davlin. Hey, Gary. Hey, what's up, Gary? <laughs> Martin Hensley. Let's Our see. favorite soap opera star, Gary Davlin. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Gary Davlin. What's oh, going I on? I remember now. Yeah, you remember now? <laughs> yes. Gary Davlin. Sorry, it took me it's a like second. It's like the best name. Gary Davlin. There's not a better name than Gary Davlin. <laughs> it's really good. It should be a whiskey. It could be, if there was Ooh, a Gary Davlin. Gary Davlin. If you I, ever make a tone that's I, like super smooth and classy, yeah. it's the Gary Davlin. It's the Gary Davlin tone. Yeah. If there was a whiskey named Gary Davlin, I would be a complete alcoholic. <laughs> we would buy it. <laughs> we would. We would totally buy it. Best <laughs> name in the world. Not a better name than Gary Davlin. Schechter <clears throat> 498, Tyler. This is Mr. Good Guy. So I tried using an Ibanez tube screamer with the Iconic, but it squealed too much. So I placed it with ah. a BBE and a 10 band mixer EQ, and it freaking sounds amazing. Favorite overdrive pedal? Question mark. Ah, good for you, man. Good to see you. Um, <clears throat> with that amp, I think the Oddbox worked really well with that <laughs> amp. The Oddbox works great with just about every amp. Um, so that would be great. Um, obviously noise gates help too, right? I mean, as soon as you slam an amp with an OD, you got to get a noise, a noise gate. It's just the way it is. So, but, um, 
<laughs> Greg Blankley, carry the tone snob laugh out loud like that. Because <laughs> yeah. it didn't, wasn't my but Yeah, it's not, her, it's not her, totally her vibe, but I, I like this amp. I think it's, Steve I think Arten, it's awesome. Steve Arten, not passing the carry test. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. I love it. I think it's a great amp. I really do. But everybody different. Uh, Gunnerman says, man, that sounds good. It Is does. Is the Bad Cat more aggressive than the MT-15? Um, I don't know. I'd have to shoot them out to know, but uh, it's not as congested, that's for sure. It's vo I think the voicing of it's a little better. Um, the MT-15, as good as it is, it does have a bit of a congested sound to it. So. Michael uh, Pierce is here. What's up? Hey, what's up, man? Uh, let's see. Flux, the Kiesel Lynx combination sounds great. Nice low end. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. maybe that's what it is. We're just too much low. Too uh, much low end? I don't know. You think? It just sounded. I don't want to get in trouble. I go ahead. I just thought it sounded mushy, like muddy and mushy. It really? Was, I don't know. I didn't like it. <laughs> it wasn't. I didn't think it was very articulate. Really? Yeah. Wow. You sound much better. How much did you put in your drink? <laughs> just making sure. It's almost gone. It's almost so, gone. Yeah, it's truth serum, right? It's truth I'm serum, yeah. Truth. You know what I've always wanted to say to you? <laughs> 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 While we're being honest. <laughs> I definitely feel like you've sounded better. <laughs> Not that your playing was bad. I just. <laughs> oh, uh, I'm about to prove that wrong. <laughs> my favorite dog. <laughs> on my next. On my next. Uh, <laughs> song i might screw this one up but uh i like it i think it sounds really good you know but everybody has different tastes i love how it feels too it's got a great feel to it you know but um yeah i don't i'm not hearing any oh, excuse me i'm not hearing anything out of place <laughs> you need some water yeah maybe <laughs> Flux says, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, there's two fluxes. The Keeble, the Kiesel Lynx combination sounds great. Nice little end. Yep. And then imagine combining two 606 GC tubes with two KT77 tubes. Ooh, yes. Or two KT77 tubes with two KC87 tubes. Or two, or KC in or the two sunshine, EL34 yeah. tubes with two KT88 tubes. <laughs> the KH103 lets me do this and bias them from the back panel. He's like, Flux. <laughs> you wore her out. She needed a nap Flux. now. She needed a nap. <laughs> Just ban him. <laughs> <laughs> you banned. <laughs> Here's your ban, baby. <laughs> no, it would be fun to mess with all those combinations of tubers. That would be fun. Pimp Chris, what's up, man? Hey, what's going on, man? Uh, Greg Linkley says Gary Davlin better copyright his name. He should. <laughs> I would. It's the best name ever. Martin Hensley, oops, said hi to Pip. Bratzel, Dab Jared. Jerry Taplin. You seen the new Victory Kraken uh, Mark II? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they finally put a damn presence knob on the thing. About damn time, too. How long did that take? Like five years? Yeah. Jim Simmons. Steve from Boston uses the THU Overloud, and he always sounds good playing through it on his Saturday live stream. Oh, I've watched those. Oh. Yeah, I, that's what he plays. Oh, interesting. He does Steve, sound good. <clears throat> Steve says they're going to threaten to sue you guys. <laughs> <laughs> he really likes it a lot. <laughs> I do. I think it's a great amp. I really do. My it's opinion very unique. means nothing. <laughs> 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 only, only to him. <laughs> I like it. Uh, let's see. Steve Arton just heard the new Kraken on Ola's page. Sounded super good. Mm hmm Yep. Shane says, do you think it's better to have one amp with multiple good channels or one amazing channel for playing live? Oh, well, I guess it depends <clears throat> on what you mean by multiple good channels. Because <laughs> what I hate is when I buy an amp for $3,000 and it only has one channel in it that works for me and all the other ones are just like, that jack of all trades kind of thing you know like oh this is for blues guys this is for country guys this is for whatever and then here's your metal channel it's like ah i love that's why i like the jp uh because the jp2c you have three amazing channels you have an awesome clean channel amazing <laughs> two two amazing uh high gain channels that are pretty much the same i mean one just has a little more gain than the other but i mean otherwise they're great channels and you can dial them in any way you want so that to me is the way to go so if an amp has 
a bunch of like like a great clean and a bunch of really awesome high gain channels that I could choose from with different voicings or whatever. That's what I'm all about because I'm never going to play the low gain stuff. It's just not for me. So, but that's what I would want. That's what I would consider a, a great amp. Pit Press says your Tone X pack, the brutal one, is it captured with amp DI and then IRs loaded or were they captured with the cab directly mic'd up? Uh, well, I captured the amp by itself, so just the amp, <laughs> and I also captured the amp and cab and mics combination as well, so you have both. So that way, if you like the captures that I made with the amp and cab, you're done. Or if you want just the amp and pick your own impulse responses, then you can do that as well. I gave you both options. Greg Blinkley, with the release of your solo album, any plans for live performances? Ah, good question, man. Um... <laughs> Yeah, I think you know my thoughts about playing around here. Um, I, if I was to play around here, it wouldn't be to promote it. Um, it would just be for fun. Maybe I want to test out some gear and play like the Quad Cortex or the Kemper or maybe even one of my amps live just to do it for fun. Um, so, yeah, I would do it for that, you know. Um, but promotion-wise, I'd rather promote it on the channel because I'll get way more out of it than I would uh, playing live around here. Um, so if I ever play, you ever see me play live around here, it's just because I want it. It's like bowling night for me. It's just or like I made him. Or yeah, that too. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> yeah, it'll just be for me to just go out and just you know get on stage and maybe mingle with some of my friends again and and just play uh, you know on stage just for the sake of Once doing it. Once every four or five years. He yeah. Needs to yeah. Do that. Whether I need to or not, but. <laughs> Yeah, you know how the scene is here. It's freaking trash. So mm -hmm. I, you know, I'm not going to do much around here. Mr. Spillify says, I'm surprised Jared likes the bad cat. Me too. <laughs> I love amps that run hot. Uh, AC30s, Bogner, XC, Diesel, Paul, Matchless, Independence, etc. But they have a swirl and zing that makes them sound prettier. Ah. Swirl and zing. Swirl and zing. <laughs> Mr. Spillify, I think you probably have pretty good taste. Yeah. <laughs> Swirls and zings. <laughs> She's all about the swirl and zing. <laughs> so, yes, yeah, says Carrie being all truthful and shit. <laughs> <My voila. laughs> hey, that's what we're about here, man. <laughs> Keeping it real. Steve Arton says this channel is tubular. <laughs> tubular, man. <laughs> Pluck Bro. says, Carrie, we're hearing how the Kiesel changes the tone of the Bad Cat links. The Kiesel adds the bass we're hearing. I think it sounds good. Thick and a bit congested. I like it. Yeah, the Kiesel, is, this is a great guitar, man. I'm digging it. I play it almost every day up on upstairs. I never I never <laughs> played on the channel. I'm like, I'm playing this tonight, you know? It's time to show off my pretty girl, you know? And my Kiesel. Did you get that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so... Yeah, this thing, uh, it's, it's a nice its a nice guitar. I love it. <laughs> Six String Brian says, Hey, Jared, do do offer a high gain, do you offer a high gain pack for Tonex? Yes, I offer all kinds. Um, there's a link in the description of the video here, and uh, you can go to my website, ToneWars.com, and click on the Tonex section, and there's all kinds. The Ultimate Brutal Pack, you can't go wrong with that, man. There's, uh, I think it's three amps that I did in there, both DI and studio, which means cab, mics, amp, you know, all together. Excuse me. And they, they sound great. And I, I know I made them, I'm biased, whatever, but they do. I get, I get emails all the time from people who buy them and they're like, dude, these are sick. Thank you so much. And when are you going to make your next pack? And yeah, they came out really freaking good. There's a pretty good variety up there uh, right now on the website. So help yourself and let me know what you think. Steve Shaheen. Shaheen, what's He's up, man? Back from vacation. Yes, good to see you back, man. He we'll says, be doing a live stream soon. We'll be doing it doing a soon. Shaheening soon. <laughs> we'll be shaheening it up soon. He says, woo, can't wait for Halloween and the video. Thank you, sir. Yeah. <laughs> good to see you, man. Steve Arton, will there be any more real packs for the Tonex like the recent ones for the QC? Oh, yeah. I will definitely be doing the Tonex. I got to order a uh, reamp box. So, uh, and when I get that in, I'll be doing, I'll be reconvening with my, um, uh, my Tonex packs. I was borrowing the one that I used from Jay to try it out to see if I liked it. And it's, I freaking love that reamp box. So I'm going to get another one and uh, start doing them. 
<laughs> Pit Press says, cool, thanks for clarifying. I'll then perhaps grab a pack soon. Just got to think whether Brutal Pack or the Angle Savage. Oh, cool, man. Thank you. Yeah, I think you'll, uh, I think you'll like the Ultimate Brutal Pack, man. Those took three days to make. <laughs> that was, that was worth some work, man. But they turned out really freaking good. Oh. And then Flux is mansplaining to me how to read <laughs> the tube names. No. <laughs> he says, Carrie, to read tube names, just read the letters and numbers. For example, KT88, KT88, six C A seven. <laughs> He be mansplaining and stuff. <laughs> you just can't put so many of them in a paragraph. <laughs> <laughs> she gets tongue tied. Chris Fil uh, Filipios. Hey. <laughs> oh, I probably slaughtered your last name. I'm probably. sorry. <laughs> Filipios? Filipios. Anyway, I see an amp slot to your far right. Please tell me you didn't sell it. I did. A friend of mine needed it. <laughs> yeah, and it had to go bye-bye. But don't worry, I'm hoping to fill that slot with something see, free. With something free. With something free, yeah, exactly. But I, I had <laughs> the Stealth, which is basically the twin sister. And I'm like, well, I have two of the same amp. So he needed it, and he called me up. He's like, yeah, I saw your video on Keep It or Sell It. He goes, are you selling it? I'm like, I wasn't gonna. And he goes, oh, man, I need one. He goes, I figured I'd reach out to you first. And, you know, I was like, all right, I'll sell it to you. <laughs> He's a good friend. He's a good dude. So I figured, you know, I'll help him out. So I gave it a good home. Fuck says the ultimate Brudo pack rules. Thank you. Yeah, they, those came out good, man. I like those. You want to play some more? Yes, I do. All right. Hang on one second, guys. <laughs>
still a nope. <clears throat> I still I love it. I think this is a very unique amp, and I'm glad to have it because it's different from all the other stuff that I have, and it's got its own thing going on. It does have its own thing going yes. on. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Brad Jimke says, Halloween party at Jared's next weekend. Joking. Hope you're both doing well and <laughs> tying one. <laughs> <laughs> Good to hear from you, man. Same to you, sir. <laughs> Jared's almost finished it. Uh, Braxel says, yes, I love your captures, Jared. I think I have about three packs now, and they're all good. I'm just Thank happy you. they all appeared with the computer editor for the QZ. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, man. I appreciate that. I really do appreciate it when people buy the captures because mm -hmm. it really means a lot. And it's been an interesting year for me this and year. It means so he can maybe retire someday. Yeah, someday. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of my re part of my retirement plan. But, um, but uh, yeah, thank you guys. I really appreciate it, and I do my best. <laughs> I really do to make sure that these captures are insane for you guys. Greg Blinkley says a Line Six Spider would look good in that slot. Oh yes. Oh, did you have a free one? <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? Martin Hensley, Jared, when Fender Master Tone start capturing, will you make captures for it? Absolutely. Yeah, if the Tone Master comes out and does captures, I will definitely be making captures for that. Uh, Chris, now you can make me say your last name again. One last Flipios. look at the, beauti <laughs> the beautiful guitar. There it is. He says, I respect it. Gotta help metalhead friends out. Also, well done pronouncing the last name. Very impressive. <laughs> Greek last names aren't easy. Yeah, they're not. <laughs> no, I have a buddy who is Greek. His name is Spiros Demopoulos, and he married a Japanese woman. Her first name is Megumi. I have no idea what her middle name is, but she's Megumi Demopoulos. <laughs> <laughs> That's a tough one. It's about this long typed out. <laughs> <laughs> it's a tough one to it pronounce. Is. Great couple, though. Mm -hmm. uh, Daniel Gooner says, I've been watching your channel since June, and I oh, love it. Cool. Thanks, man. I was wondering if there's an... you got to start doing more of that multi-platform thing so I can get uh, get things out there better. So... I feel Stay like, tuned. though, because I know you can link Facebook and Instagram, but then if people are trying to connect with you through Instagram, you wouldn't know because you're just doing Facebook. Yeah, it's, it's kind of crazy how all that works, but uh, it's definitely something I want to do. The problem with Instagram is uh, it's hard to upload to it from my computer. You know, um, I'd have to do everything mobily. And it's, it sucks because, like, I, if I want to, you know... Dot. Flux thought the solo was awesome. Thank you. CS oh, uh, says, green. I think the bad cat has a cool voicing. It's diggable. Yeah, I like it. I really do like the voicing of the bad cat. Uh, <laughs> Flux says, also, Carrie, you need to make margaritas more. The fun level is way up tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm definitely, I'm definitely feeling it because uh, a little bit. Yeah, on this carnivore diet, when you drink, it just goes right to your head instantly. There's no carbs in there. No though. carbs. It's like to muck it up. Right to the old noodle. <laughs> I agree. I do need to make margaritas. Dude, off. those are so good. We can have margarita nights. I'm just saying. Wow, I could I could get addicted to these. I know. They're too good. I'm going on like a month. So. Oh my God. Pepper says, I just bought the Brutal Pack. Going to make some noise. Oh, he's thanks, curious. man. He's very curious. Thank you. Yeah, I think you'll like them. I really do. Those are those are about as brutal as it gets with those amps. So I, I really do think you'll like them. And I'm looking forward to hearing your thoughts on them. Fox loves that Kiesel. Thanks for the close-up. Oh, of course. <laughs> Tony says, Jared, did Engel say they are sending you the 6L6 version or the L34 Founders Edition to demo? I'm sure they are both excellent. You know what? I didn't, good question. I didn't uh, get that information from them. But uh, <laughs> we'll find out when it gets here. I don't know what the main version is. Do you? Is the main version the EL34 or 6L6? <clears throat> so we'll find out. Uh, Braxel, Jared, do you think the Fender Tone Master is kind of too large of a box? No. I honestly think that the, the fit and finish... <laughs> Braxel, hello? Question mark? <laughs> <laughs> Hi! <Yeah. laughs> Maybe it was because the thing was red. <laughs> um, but uh, no, I think it's a really good size. I really do. I think it's perfect. You know, and I'm not just trying to like 
you know, blow smoke up their butts uh, to get one. But I mean, I, I really do think it's a good unit. Um, I just, like I said, I hope it profiles. I hope down the road, like, dude, I told him too. I said, dude, if you guys make this a profiler, it would get the king's crown from me anyways. It's like the freaking amazing unit. So I'm hoping that they do. Flux wants to know what you were adjusting on the guitar. Oh, my uh, my neck. I was it was it was it was bowed forward. Had too much relief in it. So I always look down. These are mahogany, so they they're not. It's a softer wood, so I can always tell. It's because the action on my keysel is perfect. So as soon as I pick this up, I'm like, ooh, action's a little high. So I just. Uh, Adjusted the uh, the <laughs> truss rod adjustments right here. Actually, could come down. Michael Pierce says more. margaritas and monster tone. <laughs> yeah, that's what we're all about here, man. Hell's yeah. Well, we're caught up, and it does keep freezing. Is it freezing again? Well, not at the moment, but uh, Braxel and Martin Hensley have both commented on it. Yeah, sorry about that. I don't know what's going on. I I got to get a new router. I've said that for like a year now. Maybe it's time I called the old router company. You want to play something and then we'll say goodbye? Yeah, yeah let me do... Uh, let me do... Ooh. Three shots. That sounds like fun. Um, yeah, three let's shot. let's try that since we're drinking tonight. Three shots and a chaser. <laughs> and a chaser. Boop. Is my wireless off? There it goes. All right, one second. There you go. Nice. A little bit of three shots for you. I like it. For you. Let's see. That's a wild one. Flux says, hoping you get the EL34 Founders Edition. If I get one, 
I would get the one that put KT-77s in it. I hope I get, I just hope it gets here soon. You know, I can't wait to dig into that. I love Engel amps. I think they're amazing. They're really unique. So I'm looking forward to it. Martin says the new Engel new founders amp is the L34. Oh, is it? So that's the norm, like the main, I guess the main way it comes out. Okay. It might be EL34. We'll find out. <coughs> Christopher says, odd. I've never had an electric neck warp on me. I did have an acoustic uh, throw, throw a saddle, though. Oh, yeah. I adjust these necks quite often. Actually, I'm used to it. I do it all the time. Well, your basement, the atmosphere and weather down here is different. Yeah. A lot different from the main floor. Yeah. So when they're upstairs, they're yeah. fine. But there's But then there's times where in the fall... Like there's these chilly days, but I like it chilly. I'll open all the windows. Mm -hmm. And I, my cat is, <laughs> he loves to go out on the deck. So I, I let him out on the deck and I'll, I'll leave the door open, you know, the sliding glass door open for him to go in and out for a while and uh, lets all the cold air in. So my guitars sometimes go crazy because of that too. Oh. So, yep. So that's basically what's been happening. All right, it's 8.30. It's 8.30. Yes. All right, it's guys. Been a fun night. Yeah, it was fun. Those, those, dude, those margaritas, man. I got you. Holy crap. <laughs> those are good. There's yeah. Stupid. Anyways, look up uh, the recipe for golden margaritas golden margarita. and try one. They're stupid good. Um, anyways, well, thanks for joining us tonight. It, it's always a pleasure seeing you guys here. Seriously, it really means a lot seeing you guys here every Sunday night. So. Thank you so much. Even we if I like the amp or not. Yeah, whether she likes the amp or not, it's, she always likes you guys. <laughs> so I uh, really appreciate it. We never take it for There's granted. There's one of you I don't really appreciate. But, <laughs> <laughs> but he's not here tonight. <laughs> well, he was. <laughs> oh, he was? Okay. <laughs> anywho. <laughs> anywho. Um, well, guys, thanks so much for joining us. I appreciate it. Flux, it's not you. It's not Flux. It's not, <laughs> it's not Flux. We love Flux. Flux is the man. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, well, uh, I have some it's videos. Not you either, CS. <laughs> What's up, CS? Anyways, well, uh, I'll, I got some videos coming out this week. Looking forward to uploading those for you guys. Monday, you'll see the next riffs and responses video. That'll be up. Um, so yeah, so looking forward to that. But anyways, guys, thanks again for joining us. And um, that Christopher man bragging about his food all the time. <laughs> making us hungry Make me hungry. <laughs> that's funny <laughs> anyways well like i always say <laughs> <laughs> mary had a little lamb <laughs> mary had a little lamb <laughs> every day is a gift <laughs> <laughs> every day is a gift <laughs> thanks for spending part of yours with us have a great week and we'll see you back next sunday night god bless you guys maybe in costume <laughs> maybe in costume exactly god bless you guys have a great week look forward to seeing you next sunday